So he says that uh, there are a couple of ways to do this. He says representing Christ in the, in the new millennium requires three basic skills. Right. The first one, is, as ambassadors, we need a basic knowledge that's necessary for the task. Well, what is that? Well, we must know the central message of the gospel, of God's kingdom, right? So we need to make sure that we have a, a way to present the gospel to people. That's a basic, that's part of the, the equipment, the information that we, that we need to have, right? I like to use the Romans road or something like that in, in order to present Christ mm-hmm. to people. So we must uh, know the central message of God's kingdom, and we must know something about how to respond to, you know, obstacles and objections that we uh, encounter uh, in our diplomatic mission, right? And so he's going to help us to work through that second thing, particularly in terms of how to respond, right? Right. And so the uh, the next one is uh, to to have wisdom, an artful method, and... um, and character in attractive manner. Uh, so, uh, what what we want um, to to um, present is a message that's clear, that's persuasive, uh, that, that kind of stays on track. That uh, you know doesn't bring all these other influences of of yes, I I'm, I might be more comfortable in um, presenting the moral argument, but let's talk about the teleological argument or mm. you know whatever you might be talking about. Um, you know, how, how best to present that, how, how, how to steer it, um, you know, the, if you're talking about politics and, and you're talking about morality, mm-hmm. how to steer that towards, towards the, the gospel and, and say, um, you know, here, here's some points that my worldview tells me that, um, that is important and, and should be stood by. And so um, here are the implications from that. Uh, wh- what are wh- what does your worldview say? And and kind of compare and contrast. And I mean that uh, uh, puts you in in the mindset of Nancy Piercy, mm-hmm. uh, uh, her her five five methods. And so within that five those five methods or whatever you might have, but let's say those five methods, how how do you talk within those five methods mm-hmm. is is important. And so that's what um, he's talking about here as far as wisdom. Uh, this requires the tool of a diplomat, not of the weapon of the warrior. Mm-hmm. Tactical skills rather than brute force. Again, we want to be nice. We're having conversation. Yeah. You know, uh, th- think about it like um, a Thanksgiving meal. You know, you, you you have that one relative that's just the polar opposite. And so, do you, do you want to kind of keep the peace, or do you want to stoke the fire? Sometimes we want the person to go so we can finish the Lions game <laughs> and, right. and, and only be disappointed on one front. Yeah. Uh, but uh, or, or we want that last piece of pie <laughs> and Uncle Bill needs to get out of here and, and you know how to push his buttons out, out of here. <laughs> so so that, that's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're having a conversation at the dinner table and we don't want anyone to get upset because if anyone gets upset, you, them, uh, you lose. That's so. right. Yeah. So these skills then, are, we have knowledge, we have wisdom. And finally, he says, uh, we need um, our character, right? We need our character that can make, and, and this, he says, our character can make or break our mission. Right? Knowledge and wisdom are packaged in a person, right? So they come with with the person so that uh, if the person uh, does not embody the virtues of the kingdom he serves, he will undermine his message and handicap his his uh, his efforts, and so we need to make sure that we have the proper Christ-like character when we're sharing. Right? We need to know at least the gospel and and a few responses. Right? We need to have this wisdom that comes from the Holy Spirit, and then finally, uh, we need to be the right person. We need to have a Christ-like character when when we're sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just just think about. Put, putting yourself in that other person's perspective, even as a Christian, uh, who, who, who of my elders do, do I want to go to? If I have a question about something, do I want someone who's attacking me? Why don't you know this? How <laughs> dare you? I know this. Why, you know, this was something that I learned uh, day one of me being a Christian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, th- <laughs> you know, uh, great. So that person's got the knowledge, but they don't have the character. Uh, they and they don't have the uh, the definitely the wisdom the artful <laughs> method. I would, I, I would not respond well to that myself, yeah. uh, especially if it if it's something that uh, uh, may be on the difficult end or that I've never heard of before. And so um, a, a lot of times, uh, um, you know, uh, I, one of the kind of sayings is um, the fact that today uh, the the way that we're responding to each other in such weird and hateful ways is because. Uh, for so long, we've we've kind of taken the Midwestern approach and not really talked about 
uh, these things, and then they all boil up and in, into into the conversations <laughs> we're having now, where everything is platitudes. And so, um, again, you know, we're not talking to the mob; we're talking to a person. We're talking right. to, to to people, and and we should and we should view them as such.